Welcome to Turk Mango Games. I'm your host, Turk Mango. We're gonna play a game that I've loved on this channel, that a lot of people have liked on this channel. And it's a very famous uh, dating simulator. It's probably one of the best in the world. It certainly is at the top of like the top three earned games on Patreon. Oh, sorry, bud. You are a fluff ball, aren't you? Look how cute he is. Why'd you look at the camera? Look over there. You see the camera? Yeah. You're a sweetie pie. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Woo! Okay. Anyway, guys, I know it's been a while, but um, just to keep it short, uh, our family and lives, like, I got married recently to my girl, same girl that you guys have been seeing on my videos. We've been together for six years. We recently got married in December of 2020, and... Um, after the virus hit, we hit some struggles, financial struggles. Um, she lost her jobs, I lost my jobs. And we've been trying to do what we can to kind of, you know, make money and, and keep our rent and all that stuff. So it's been tough. I haven't been able to record like I wanted to, and now I'm back. But if you guys want to help us out, um, I know it's a lot to ask on my, my first video back, but I put all of these videos uncensored, uncut, well, mostly uncut. I put all the, I cut out all the boring parts, but I keep everything that YouTube cannot see on my Patreon. So patreon.com slash TVGG. Just go there. I'll put a link down below and you can go check it out. Whether you want to donate a dollar or more, um, it's up to you, but you'll have access to all the content. It's really great. Every video I've ever made um, is up there aside from the four channels that I had before that were taken down by YouTube and like, Hundreds of videos were removed, but um, recently, for the past year or so, uh, you'll see those videos and any of the games that I play. And there's a whole list of games, like a whole group of adult games that are really great. If you want to check them out before you buy them um, or buy access to them, you can go to my Patreon. It'll show you all the videos and all these cool games. And I only try and play the best. It's rare that I, like, I'll continue. Maybe it'll be like a one-off, but usually if I have multiple videos on a game, it's... Um, it's usually like a great game, so um, go there if you want some ideas on what kind of adult games you want to play. And uh, without further ado, let's do this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit the like button, subscribe if you can. That'd be great. Um, I'll put my second channel link. That's where I wanted to play like regular games. But you know what I want to do now? I want to start doing Twitch. So I'm going to put my Twitch link down below. I have like 60 followers, which is cool, but... I want to do some um, live gaming there and it'll be various games and, and you know chat can join in and play with me on some multiplayer games or um, at least communicate with me live so that'd be kind of cool. So go to my Patreon if you want to see these videos uncensored. Go to Twitch if you want to just follow. If you just go to Twitch and follow me if you already have Twitch that'd be great. So that way when I go live you might be able to catch me on there and um, we're trying to grow that too because money is uh, hard to find lately and me and my wife are suffering so i mean a lot of people are suffering um so if you guys can support us that'd be great obviously support yourselves support your family first you know that comes first but anyway we're gonna continue summertime saga oh you can see the boys in the background what are they doing what are they doing they're wrestling they wrestling yeah they wrestling they love wrestling oh man i need like a doggy cam but we're gonna continue this game and there's been multiple updates since I played this but one of the most important updates is that apparently there's an end game there's an ending to this game now which the two three years I've been playing this game no ending definitely amazing content definitely amazing artwork definitely amazing stories definitely awesome laughs tons of laughs this game might be one of the best made adult games indie games ever made um, and I'm glad they're putting their money to use a lot of a lot of these games that make money Don't put them to use just put them in their pocket or just have bad editing. Ty. Can you stop doing that? Please buddy Go over there. What did you drop over there? You dropped up there? There's nothing over there um, And this is this is truly like like I think it's a masterpiece so finally having like an ending to this is tremendous It's tremendous. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully get to the end game, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So we're gonna start brand new and fresh. There's some new settings, I think. Um, if you're a patron here, what's clear persistent? I don't know what that is. 
Uh, but when you start a game, you get a new option. So let's go to new game. We'll be TVG. So you can do a clean game. Um, cheats enabled or new content. For returning players who know the story, skip to the new content. Start with some savings. Start with some stats. Now, I would love to start there, but I feel like we're going to miss a lot of what I haven't seen in the past updates. So I feel like we should just start with a cheats enabled game. So that way we can actually like see what's up, you know what I mean? So let me... Oh snap, they got... Got piano? Oh. They stepping it up? They never used that piano during the funeral scene. Never. All right, I'm not gonna read everything. Because it's I've played this game a thousand times and even though there's new stuff anything I don't recognize we gonna check out for reals okay hold on let me fix this I think I messed it up I messed, I messed it up here we go boom boom we'll extend it out a little bit dude this is so sad. Okay, so the pops dies, right? We don't know why. Some nefarious circumstances. It's raining. It's raining right now in real life too. Mama, her twin sister. Um, you can't see my cursor, but okay. Now I'm on. Should I show my cursor? I can't. I don't know how to do the cursor thing. It don't matter. You don't need to see my cursor. Okay. So there are three things I have to take care of before the end of this semester. I need to earn some money. I need to uncover the truth about my father's murder. And I need to find a date for sor sorority ball. Wow. Okay. I'm excited. I'm so hyped, man. An end game to this a fucking ending, yo. And that doesn't mean, like, this is it. There's actually, like, three more or four more major updates um, and character arcs that are need to be completed. So, Rhonda... Um, the runner at the track She's one of the girls and the one that like confronts you at the pool. She's one of the girls um, I mean I could show you like a list But if you just go to summertime saga.com go to news or go to downloads You can see the little update tracker of what's going on and what needs to be implemented But apparently there's an end game. So I'm excited to see the end game and then uh, I'm still gonna see the other character arcs. So there's definitely more updates to this game It's just difficult to like Man, to make videos on this game is like, you really want to start over and see all the new- Like, I always want to start over and see all the little tweaks and stuff, because even stuff in the beginning is tweaked. And even if it's just artwork on the wall, or like, the way the room is set up, and anything's changed, like, I like to see it because I've seen this game from its beginning to like now, and it's such a dramatic change. But it's difficult, because it's like, anytime there's a new update, you either can't use the saves, but now apparently you can. I think he fixed it to where from now on if there's any updates you can still use your previous save so that shouldn't be an issue it shouldn't be bugged but previously like you couldn't use the same saves um and you have to start the game over if you want to see anything new but it's like i start started this game over a dozen or more times okay um he wakes up we're gonna keep going okay so we gotta repair our computer Look, even like this graphics card thing, I think has been, it looks a lot different than what it used to. We'll pick up these cookies. Oh, I'm so excited to see the new arcs and the new relationships. Okay, there's the sis. Oh, hey, loser. What's your problem? What do you think my problem is? I'm just stuck here living with you. Yeah, whatever. Should you be at school or something? All right, whatever. Whoa, what was that? I like how like the OBS, like on my screen it's not that vivid, but on my OBS it's like mad colorful. Boys, don't be fighting. Stop fighting, boys. Hey, you gonna sit down? Toby, you gonna sit down and behave? How are you gonna behave, buddy? Toby, stop humping him. Sit down. No humping. Sit. Yeah, look, you're out of breath. You're out of breath and shit. Alright, let's continue. She said something about breakfast. We're gonna name her Janae. I always name her Janae for some reason. Okay. My name is Janae. We're gonna go in the kitchen. There's Mama. She making breakfast. Okay, Eric overslept. I don't know what that means. 
I'm gonna try and like pay attention and I always name her Debay because she got the booty you know so let's go back in the hallway we're gonna grab this key okay we're gonna go outside we can access the map now okay we can't we can't go in the garage yet okay I should head next door and pick up Eric so I guess I left the house so I have to pick up Eric oh uh, let me show you something about the map too um, so he was up all night um, what, you get? what is it baby boy I think my dog needs something We'll check his mailbox real quick. Oh, he, he caught me. Yo, damn. Now he's like, yo, why are you checking in my mailbox? Okay, so this is the this is the shit. The map. It looks the same, right? But the, but I think there are new places open with new um, content. So I guess we got to go to school now. We see our girl Mia, who's like kind of our little little girlfriend, little love interest, I think. Um, one of them. I mean, you can, have a literal, you can literally have a love interest with every opposite sex member in the entire game i'm talking about everyone i mean my age and older as old as it gets so we unlocked mia's house so this is the school exterior you see a homie out the window <laughs> yo i never noticed this look at the chick to the left of the door i can't show my cursor so here's the door you see the left look at the bottom bush right there good lord um, you see a girl talking to his homie right here. I don't know if he's on his laptop or if he's fapping or something. I don't know what he's doing. You got two slamming boo-boos on the right. And you got a dude stealing bikes. He looks like he's stealing bikes. He looks like a criminal. Alright, and this guy's running to class all the way on the left. This guy's the guy in the yellow selling drugs. Alright, let's go inside. We meet the jock and the cheerleader, right? Head cheerleader. He's just like threatening and bullying. Uh, you guys talk, you know, we'll beat you up, whatever. We meet the principal. She's strict. She's got a weird, like, control over everybody, and she's just uh, super mean and super super controlling. She, like, shuts down teachers' uh, programs and stuff, and it's, like, up to us to try and help her out, help out all the teachers, and she's kind of like a villain. But I want to know, for anybody in the comments who's been playing this game, don't spoil it for me, but is there anything that comes up about that cult? Remember that, like, if anybody knows anything about this game, remember where there was, like, a scene where you go into the school and there's, like, a cult? Did they scrap that story? Did they change that story? Is there anything that comes of that story? Don't spoil it for me, please, in the comments. I like I like reading the comments. And it's been so long since I've been making videos and I really want to get back into interacting with everybody and, and responding to everybody. Please don't spoil it for me. Um, don't tell me what happens at the end. But I would really love to know... Just tell me yes or no if the cult thing still happens like i probably shouldn't even say that but um uh, but just to remember guys like i don't get any monetization on these channels i've been demonetized on every single channel i've ever made i've had thousands of subscribers on every single channel i've ever made and i lose most of them i lost all of them actually except this one and the second one i just created so please support me if you want to if you do if you have an extra buck or two lying around and you want to support and watch these videos uncensored I do not like to censor these videos. It takes double the time to make a video. I have to make a video, record it, do all the audio and fix all the, the production and all that stuff. And then I have to edit it. Um, on top of editing, I have to censor it. And it just takes so much longer than it's supposed to. Let me fix this a little bit. And um, if you can support me, that would be amazing. Like it really, it really helps. I'll move that like that. That's good. Okay. Yeah, man, she's pure evil. Yeah, I don't know about that cult thing. I don't know if that's like a thing anymore. We just unlocked the basketball court. So, now we have a little tracker here. So, no hints for this quest. He can't have left already. I wonder where he is. So, I guess we gotta talk to Eric again. I should get to school and talk to... I forgot her name. So, we gotta catch up with all these women. Um, I should check on her tomorrow. So, if we just go around... Okay, we gotta go to her office. Okay. Where's her office? This is the stairway. We meet Kevin. Kevin's a super nice dude. And um, he's going to be our like gym partner. He does the bench press, I think. So he's going to help us with our strength. And I wonder if they updated the guy's character in the uh, gym. Or maybe he doesn't do bench press. He does something in the gym that keeps, uh, keeps us like agility or strength or something. But there's like a big strong dude in the gym. And I don't know if he is um, accessible yet. So this is the principal's office. Did it say the third floor? But it's the second floor. Did, did I, I'll have to go back on the VOD and check, but I could have sworn he said 
I thought I saw a third floor, whatever. So we're gonna go to the principal's office. Look at the statue, yo. We're gonna talk to her. She's gonna tell us about how our gra grades are bad. And that we need to get it together. And she has no sympathy that my father was killed or passed away. And that I need to do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna be kicked out of school or fail or whatever. Can we look inside this? Okay, we get in trouble to do that. Boys, no barking. Daddy recording. There's only two floors. I guess this is one. Yeah, two. There's only two floors. Let's check this. Supposed to wait by Annie for my locker. Okay, so here, here's Annie. She takes the key out of her shirt. Okay, that's called the master key. So she's giving us a hint that a master key exists. We're going to jack that later. We're going to steal that later. Okay, here's our locker to-do list. So Annie and Rhonda, I don't think are finished yet. Um, so they need to finish that. So it looks like all these other arcs are almost done. Let's see. Okay, we got that. She has a master key in her office. Okay. So now what? I guess we can go. I should hit the boys' locker room and change. Okay. So we'll go that way. This is where we meet Judith. She's a total sweetheart. She gets bullied all the time. Which is awful, but we get her back, you know what I'm saying? We hook her up. We got some donuts here. Let's go change. This is where we see the first scene in the game. The first, uh, like, censored scene in the game. Uh, she makes us change. Whoa, it's like animation now. Oh my god. <laughs> He's growing a tent. Dude, his tent is like legendary. He has a legendary tent. She calls us shameful. Look at that. Put your put on your uniform to get to get your booties to class now. Dude, the way those hang, they hang like two feet. It's crazy. Ooh, did you see how she put that on? Like her thumb was like pushing in on it. That was really. That's like amazing detail. All right, so let's go back. Can we go here? I'm gonna start saving it. Um, ooh, I gotta center this. I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna override it there. Okay, I can't go there yet. Let's go back. Let's go back. We'll go outside. We'll meet the uh, infamous coach Bridget, who's a hard ass. She wants us to get in shape. She looks good. She used to be a lot thicker than this, and she used to be a little bit more manly, but it looks like they've like toned her up. Ooh, look at Rhonda. Rhonda's fire. If you press H, you can hide the dialogue bar. In case you want to take thumbnails. Dude, Rhonda looks so good. Good lord. Okay. So she's kind of joning on us because of our, like, lack of athleticism. Um, stop moving those lips. Okay. Okay. So hopefully the next couple updates bring her story, like, into full bloom. That'd be really great. Where do I train? So we got to go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I thought we in gym, right? Isn't this gym? Like, I gotta do this off hour? Is that what my... No, 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 no. Why does my Windows want to uh, restart? Okay, um... What do we do next? I should inform Miss Bissette about me returning to school. So let's go to English class or French class. We let her know we're back. She has a little bit of sympathy. She talks about being a tutor and... Um... How to get my studies back up again. There's people bullying me. Someone threw a book at my face. Okay, before you leave, our ball. So we gotta do our homework. Okay, Eve. Eve is another boo-boo that's like our good friend. Like one of our best friends. She's mad cute, mad sweet. And uh, she looks a little different, honestly. She looks really cute. Uh, I was a little worried I couldn't pull it off. Oh, you definitely could pull it off. Okay. Sorry to hear about your dad. I know it's rough. Yeah. If you ever need to talk or something... It's really nice of you to offer, but I'm okay. I'm just try to think about it. Try to fo focus back on getting the swing of things, you know? Yeah, believe me, TVG, I get it. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling down or whatever, I like drawing, my, drawing on my pad and sit by the big fountain over at the park. So that's just like telling us that's where she'd be, she be at. So you can find her like in the afternoons and evenings at the park. I'm gonna take Miss, are you going to take Miss Bissette on her private lesson? Yeah, the one she was talking about at the start of class. Weren't you paying attention? I might have dozed off. <laughs> Yeah, most of, the, of these classes put me to sleep. Don't you have one of the highest GPAs in school? Yeah, sorta. How do you manage that? I don't know, just lucky, I guess. That's crazy. 
I, I've just been always good at school. It's like a gift or something. I can't. I remember those people at school that just can like kill it, and and your ass be struggling. They, I, I think it has to do with like memorizing and like photographic memories and shit like that. Everybody has like a different level of that. It, it took me a long time to like remember shit. I would have to read shit over and over again, study it like in depth, put like visuals and colors to things to like try and remember things. Um, I couldn't just like look at something and remember it. I had to like associate it with something else to remember it. Okay. Um, Seriously, bring that big sense of humor with you. Okay, so we'll visit her at the park. So I, th I think there's a big arc with Eve now. So there's a big um, story arc with her. So I'm excited to explore that. Really am. Uh, what else? Private tutoring seemed very interesting. Do we talk to her again? Okay, nothing going on there. Uh, we can talk to Roxy. Nothing there. Okay, we got all of our stats up, so that's good. So we don't have to do any of that stuff. We just have to go do our story progressions, like at the gym and stuff. But we don't really have to work out all the time. Music, I should talk to Miss Do It to fix that. Now, my question to you guys uh, is, do we do? Do we just talk to everybody, get everybody started? Do we just kind of explore things that we haven't seen? Or do you think there are new things with everyone and we should just kind of get everyone started? Um, that's my question because... I don't like just doing these videos. I mean, I play these games for me, but I love playing these games and interacting with people like kind of anybody who can't play this game, I can play it for them. But usually what I do on previous videos is like I skipped all the other teachers because like I have videos on them. And since there's a bunch of new updates since I've last played, I don't know if there's like newer, newer content that I haven't seen with these teachers. So should I just skip right to like Eve and... Um, who else would be new in this update and like the end game or should I just talk to like all the teachers and slowly progress through everybody's storyline to the end game because apparently I heard that there's a new feature in the game where if you smash with somebody there's a chance that you can kind of how should I say this um, have a nine month commitment with them afterwards so it's like apparently you, you can do it but there are consequences to doing it and I want to explore that arc too. So apparently that might be a, a thing with everyone. I'm not sure if it's only with certain people or if it's literally with everyone you can smash. Um, if you can have little TVGs running around with everybody. I don't know if that's the case, yo. I don't know. But maybe you guys should let me down. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments below. Don't forget, I got a Twitch. I'll put all the links up above my head. I got a Patreon. That's where you can see these videos and censor. It really does help. Me and my wife had a rough, rough year. Everyone had a rough year, but financially we had a really rough year. We're kind of struggling, so um, anything you can do to help us out would be great. She's going to be participating in a lot of videos too, and um, I think it would be it would probably really make her happy if she does see some outside sources of income because her busting her butt with two jobs and me doing that, and uh, we're not us having to not have time to do this stuff anymore really hurt us you know like really made us depressed so uh the more we can kind of rely on funds from here the less we have to like kill ourselves doing two different jobs a day and then coming home and barely having time for anything else or each other or the dogs like it kind of hurts you know so i'm not you know if you can't do it no problem but if you can it really it really really matters and and if you can't just comment below let me know what you think about the game if you have a game suggestion if you have a, a, a story tip or game tip you want to tell me about this or you know anything anything you want to say any, any questions you want to ask me I am all ears you know what I'm saying so I love reading comments uh, they go right to my phone so don't don't forget just comment it might take me a little while to get back to you but I usually do and uh, or I'll address it in the video but yeah interact go to my twitch go to my other channel you know subscribe go to patreon watch the videos do all that stuff all right, we are checking. What are we do? What are we doing? The private tutoring Miss Bassett talked about seemed very interesting. We're gonna do that. My music grade just slip in. I should talk to Miss Dootwit to fix that. He can be kind of left already. Okay, so we gotta go. We gotta go find Enrique. I should probably talk to Miss. Okay, I, I thought I already talked to her. Oh, okay. That was weird. Hey, TVG. Oh, maybe I should do a voice for Eric. Ugh. Who was your first day back at school? Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. I see. What are you up to now? 
Well, I told Debay that I would visit her friend Diane. Well, me, like, if one thing people don't know about this game if they're just getting into it, Patreon had a rule change where you couldn't have certain relationships in certain games that weren't real, that are digital, that are cartoon, and apparently if you did, the world would explode. So they made um, rules to where you cannot have games, and how do I put this? For example, Debay lives in the house that our main character lives in. Our main character possibly, maybe, might be the spawn of the Debay. Does that make sense? So Debay created us, created our sister, right? But you can't say that in the game. So in the game, it'll say like my roommate, referring to the sister. It'll say like Debe instead of saying Mama, right? Or Diane instead of saying Aunt Diane. So it's a weird change. I kind of get why they did it. But at the same time, I don't know if I agree with it because there's supposed to be something called like freedom of speech, right? And like freedom of expression. It's art right there are certain things that are promoted on different platforms that have ridiculous exposing natures right and i'm not even hating on people like that just go watch any cardi b video on youtube any cardi b video on youtube and you tell me that's pg-13 that that is not rated r whether or not she's closed or not you add in the lyrics and the the the, the um lingerie she's wearing it's literally so suggestive and it's not behind a, uh like an age wall or anything it's just there for anyone to see and i applaud her for it and i think she has every right to be that way on any platform whether it's public or you know what i mean as long as you understand what you're walking into and you pretty much do when you know about cardi b um i think it's like super obvious but so yeah, like uh, for anybody that didn't know that the relationships were changed, but just keep that in mind that those are the relationships. I know it's like kind of obvious to people who played this game before, but if you've never played this game, it's your first time watching this video. Um, the relationships are definitely not roommate and definitely not on a first name basis pertaining to the people he lives with and his aunt that lives at the farm. Uh, I just think that's kind of silly, but I get it, I guess. I don't know. They were threatened on Patreon and... The guy's making like 60k a month on this game, so I guess he didn't want to, you know, it was it was like a, a platform-wide rule change only pertaining to these games, which is kind of crazy and unfair. I don't know. It's like art's under attack, speech is under attack, and it's just like there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, people are just going to little by little chip away at what we can say and what we can do, what we can experience, and, and how we can think for ourselves. And then it's going to get to a point where, like, people can't think for themselves. They're going to be super malnourished when it comes to, like, ideas and conversation and, um, you know, having different points of view and being able to communicate and then maybe reach, like, a compromise or medium or maybe even understand each other and still disagree. It's going to come to a point where, like, you just can't say that. And then if you do explosion, no discussion, you're done or you're done or I hate you, I hate you. And then... You're going to have situations in the world where people just can't deal with their opinion not being heard or understood when you completely eliminated that aspect a long time ago and people just have to get used to it. When you could just let everything fly free and not be afraid of what people are saying and then if somebody does say something off color or terrible or something that labels them terrible and hurt may be hurtful to others at least you could point and say look that's that person that it's this way and feels that way rather than scaring everybody to not say anything and then you never know who anybody is that you're talking to you know you, you don't know anybody's personal beliefs or real personal beliefs and then you become surprised when 10 years later they go for a job and someone goes into their tweets 15 years ago it's like just let people be who they are then you could kind of label them if you want to label them um, through their actions and history and instead of like scaring everybody into not being able to express how they want to express whether it's good or bad just let them do it um, we just have to grow thicker skin I guess uh, she's gonna pay me to do some work for her man I wish I had a job I wish I could just sit on my computer and play games all day 
What are you trying to say, bro? You trying to say, like, that's what I do? I, that's not what I do. I want it, but I can't. Okay. I think I need to replace some parts in there or something. Uh, the shop for a consumer in your mouth. You said that to be the number place. Okay, okay. So that's just that. So now we can go to the base house. Which we probably have to. I'm really curious on what the end game is. I'm really curious. Don't spoil it for me. I really want to read comments, but I'm afraid to because I think people are going to spoil it for me. Music rates, blah, blah, blah. Look at how many people there are. Catch up on homework. Janae's a chance. Nice body, though. <laughs> Eve asked me to hang out in the park with her later. So we can do that at night. So this is what we'll do. We'll hit up to Bay. We'll go to her house. And then at night, we'll go to uh, chill with Eve and see what's up there. Okay, there's my handsome young man. I'm not going to read everything because, okay, her shovel's broken. So we got to get a new one. That's at the garage, back at the crib. Let's go back. We'll go to our crib. We finally can get the shovel off the wall. Our, our sister's going to hit us up. She's going to, like, talk trash about how, like, DeBay's never given her a job. Or, or Diane's never given her a job. And how she's, like, hurting for money. Okay, now she's got to get, she's looking for some. Oh, my goodness. Good this, ladies and gentlemen. Patreon.com slash TVGG if you want to see this uncensored. Even though I'm censoring this and most people think I shouldn't, I have to because, again, the point I was making before, you just can't show art anymore because there are people that are in the uh, management level or controlling level of these massive platforms that everybody uses that decide what is art and what isn't and give other people a pass and other people not a pass. So that's the place we're at today. So I have to censor it. I'm so sorry. Whoa. Like, I know it's a cartoon, but damn. damn. Just, it's amazing. Okay. I can't, it's so funny that she walks around, like, that's her costume all day. Like, she never, you never see her, like, a different costume. It would be kind of cool, though, like, at the, like, towards the end of development, where they allow you to, like, change everybody's costume. Like, that'd be really dope. She found some cigarettes. Okay, cool. I mean, you shouldn't smoke, but cool, you know. She hides them under there. You can use this workbench later to craft something and make stuff. We gotta put gas in this thing. We can go back into the house. Oh, we gotta go to Diane's house. Okay. Let's go to Diane's. Let's do this real quick. Here's the shovel that just miraculously fits in that backpack. It's not even a retractable shovel. Okay. Okay, let's go. Now we can clean this uh, mini game. Let's clean the garden. Boom, 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 boom. We gotta keep everything like this. She just loves phallic shapes. Okay, she went to lie down. As I worked, I noticed Diane was watching me intently. Ooh. That flashbacks to a lot of 90s movies. Anybody grew up in the 90s, remember all those movies that came out? I don't even want to say the word, but there were a lot of movies back in the day that featured a lot of these situations and they were really mainstream on HBO. Okay. Look at the size of that. That's a good cucumber. You can get like a, like two salads out of that thing. Like legit. You know, put a little olive in the vinegar. Shit. Olive oil and vinegar? Okay, it's nighttime. We got 80 bucks, which obviously we do not need. Get out of here. I wonder if there are secrets in this game. I want to save it real quick. I wonder if there are secrets. Um, we're gonna go to the park. Oh, we can't. That sucks. Oh, I guess we have to go home because there's a, um, like a story. So let's talk. And then this is where, like, the mom is being threatened on the phone. By, like, the, uh, mobsters or whatever that had a tie-in with his father. It looks like the base changed, honestly. It looks like the artwork for her has changed. Her shape is a little different. I mean, I like it. It's really good. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, all these little changes um, occur with every update. And even though it's, like, at the beginning of the game, like, there are still so many changes that are uh, made that are so subtle sometimes. And that's what I love about, like, starting this game over again. What's that on her shoulder? Is that, like, an... Is that like an error? Like there should have been an erase, an erased, an, er an erased part here. I think that definitely should have been erased. I think. Okay. Um. Who was on the Who was on the other end of that phone? I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Can we go back outside? No, we can't. 
So we gotta go back upstairs. Can we go in here? No. So he has no more energy. We can check out the telescope. Okay, she's doing her yoga. Enrique is on the computer, probably on the corn hub. She's reading her book. Mia's reading her book. Her parents are asleep. And this will come in useful later. I, I, it's been so long since I've seen that situation occur, so I'm excited for that. Um, I guess we're good to go. Let's go to bed. Day two, ladies and gentlemen, day two. Um, I don't know if I should do each video like day by day or like progress or content, you know, like a substantial amount of content, then that'll be the, the end of that video. But I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit the Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to start uh, doing live streams there. Um, definitely go to patreon.com slash tvgg if you want to see these videos uncensored the way they're meant to be seen. I hate... I mean, I love editing. Don't get me wrong. I hate uh, editing things that should be available, you know? If, if YouTube's going to have like an 18 plus thing and you have to pr prove that you're 18, I don't see why you can't show some of this stuff. Comparing it to other content on YouTube that's considered art and allowed to be shown so uh, I just don't agree with that but thank you guys for tuning in again just go to patreon.com my wife and I are struggling financially just like everyone else in this world and we could really use your help if you do have a buck or two lying around and you just want to support the channel and get some bonus stuff out of it by just being able to watch these videos uncut uncensored it would really help us out we really would need it we really do need it and um, it's been rough that's why I've been gone for so long um, we just, we would really appreciate the help. And she's going to be joining me on the next few, uh, Summertime Saga videos. She's excited to get back into this game. So I think, uh, before we go, I want to just see a couple more scenes. I want to hit up the mall. Okay. So here we go. We'll hit up the shower. Oh my goodness. I want to see what's different about this. Whoa, it's Janae. Oh man. She would be so mad if I, if she knew I was spying on her. Oh man, this, this other game just popped into my head that I used to be playing. I have to go check out my video history on YouTube, my upload history. There's a game that's like a 2D um, game, like a dating simulator, where you're like stuck in like a, a kind of a mansion with a bunch of people. And there's like um, something bad going on outside, and like a murder and stuff. And I, I, I've been thinking about this game for months. I want to get back into it. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this game and that game. Um... So I'll probably do a couple summertime soccer videos and then do that game because I miss that game so much. Look at the beauty. The artwork is just so beautiful. He's such a good artist. Okay, what the okay, she gets mad. Everything looks more vibrant. The colors look way more vibrant. I don't know if he altered that or what, but everything that, that even the towel looks more colorful. I wanna even say that's a different color towel. Wasn't it purple before? I could be wrong. Okay, there's Mama. Okay. Um, she's just gonna talk about helping around the house. God, it's like I, I know all this stuff already. Let's go back outside. Before we do that, let's go get the uh let's go to the mall. Let's go upstairs. Let's buy this. Let's just buy that. We'll buy the wrench. We'll buy the cat food. We'll just buy Okay, I don't need chicken stock right now. We'll buy that. Now we're again we're playing on the cheat cheats enabled version. So we're going to be able to uh, kind of buy all this stuff prematurely and in other situations you'd, you'd have to be working at Diane's and, and making money at other jobs to be like making this type of money. There's the bathroom. Let's save it real quick. It's good. Uh, I shouldn't have saved it in the bathroom. Like, Wait, what am I doing? Let's go back home. Actually, before we go home, let's go pick up these special items. Here's the map or a scroll. Wasn't there another? There's like a stick somewhere. Maybe it's at the tree house. Here we go. Oh, a boat! Oh, this brings back old good memories. Maybe I should see about fixing it up sometime. Who knows? Maybe I might even take my own sun fishing in it one day. Oh, good lord. This boys think about having kids already. Good lord. Let's open this up. We'll take the fishing lure. What else was in there? These will come in real handy. We got binoculars. I don't know what those are for. I don't think I don't remember having binoculars. This is a tribute. I used to wear red hats all the time, and I used to um, make a lot of videos on this game 
on my other channels that were really big and then those channels got taken down obviously so a lot of my summertime saga videos had like 100,000 or 200,000 views on them you know and um, it was like it was a substantial view count on my channel and this was thrown in as like a little homage to me but I don't wear that hat anymore because it's old and apparently red hats today are a little uh, you're looked at like terribly if you were just wearing a red hat even if it has nothing to do with whatever people think it has to do with Okay, we gotta put the gas in there. Before we do that, let's go up to our room. Let's fix our computer. What other items did we have? The webcam. We already have that. When that comes up, we'll have that. Oh, the stool. So you click on the top there. We got a new area. You click on this. They're still under construction. Um, what's in here that's under construction? I am so curious on what this stuff is gonna be. We got, we got a fishing rod. That was our father's. I have no idea what this painting has anything to do with. This is the map. So I'm assuming this has to tie into like the Russian gangster thing with his dad. So from Canada down to like, that's Michigan over there. So what is over here? Like North Dakota? And then uh, that's like DC, right? This is Colorado, that's like LA. Or LA down here, San Diego is LA. This is the Caribbean and then uh, what is that shit? Like, Paraguay? Uruguay? Uruguay. And then, uh, what is this? Under construction. We gotta get this ring. I don't know what this ring is for. Maybe it's like a wedding ring. No, you can't click on the records. We can't click on this. Little peephole. Yeah, we can't see anything yet. So we can visit that, I think, later in the day. Let's go back outside. We'll hit this up. Fill it up with gas. We'll do something nice. For mama here she's gonna be all excited and happy that we're like you know being the man of the house now we gotta go get do some laundry our sister's gonna yell at us what's that smell oh my god it's nice chat uh, i see what you're up to okay she thinks we're just trying to get brownie points or whatever hold on i wanted to see what game consoles he had okay so now we gotta take off our shits okay i mean people patreon.com like tvgg who doesn't want to see this i'm sorry i have to blur it out he just has a weapon that's a weapon of mass smash duction you know what i mean that's like a look she gotta put something on it doesn't even cover the whole thing it did weigh it down I like the gravity of it though like you know when she put the shit on it went like that but it's still pretty strong. Like you could do like curls. You know what I mean? You could do like uh, like like dong curls. That's probably a thing. Actually, I think that is a thing with like certain tribes. They like tie something and then they. All right, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I think that's a good that's a good first day. A good first day into 20.9. I am so excited to see the rest of the content in this. I promise the next video will have a slew more content. It's just I'm kind of doing this video in the middle of the night. I got a bunch of work to do and I got stuff to do with my lady. So I wanted to um, kind of just say hello. Uh, you know, get some comments in of people who are OGs that will probably watch this. A lot of people won't because I'm probably out of the YouTube algorithm of watching stuff. So um, anybody who does catch this, mad love, mad props to you showing up. Thank you. And please comment below. Let me know what you've been up to, what you've been doing. Uh, what you think about this game if you've been playing it any other game suggestions that you think I should jump into and I would love to uh, to chat with you again anyway love you guys I'm gonna end the video here and this is day two into summertime saga 20.9 we just finished the laundry mowing the lawn meeting Diane um, talking to Eric a little bit getting yelled at by our sister and that's it just getting yelled at by the principal telling us we gotta get our grades up we gotta do stuff. We gotta do homework for Miss Bissette, and that's it. That's where we are. We're at right now. So um, we're still very early into the game. And anybody who wants to watch this as like a walkthrough, I'll make sure I include every step of progress that you need to get through this game. And if the if I do have cuts in the game, it's literally nothing is happening in between. You know. So if you see me go from one place to another, just go from one place to that other place. And, and it's not hard to progress in this game at all. It really isn't. I think later on when you want to try and get to um, certain like quests and find certain items it is a little difficult but they usually give you hints throughout the game as long as you read everything it's like pretty much easy.
But uh, if you do need help, just watch this as a walkthrough. And I love you guys. Patreon.com slash TVGDC. See this stuff uncensored. It really helps me out. Just a dollar or two really goes a long way. Anything more, I would be super appreciative of. Go to my Twitch. Uh, my Twitch link is up there, and I'll put it down below. And then you guys can uh, come watch me live. And if you have any game suggestions there too, let me know. I love you. All right, guys, be good. And I'll see you soon. Peace.